Hello everybody and welcome back to SE Aviation and today we're going to cover a very interesting topic airways, prefixes, designators and suffixes have you ever wondered what those letters mean in airways names? well that's today's topic enjoy So, first of all, this information is taken from my cow Annex 11, Appendix 1, and as usual, it shall not be used as any type of real training. So, let's get into it. Airways were born as the imaginary lines between VORs, and they were classified with the letters V, G, T, and Q, or Victor, Juliet, Tango, and Quebec. Nowadays, with complex navigation systems, things are a bit different. That means that airways no longer need a VOR, they can use any type of navigation aid and more or less there is where their names come to play. Those names that I'm talking about are actually divided into three parts, the prefix, the designator, and the suffix. For example, in Airway United Lima 417 Yankee, United is the prefix, Lima 417 is the designator, and Yankee is the suffix. So, for the prefixes, three letters can be used, U, S, and K, or United, Sierra, and Kilo. Letter U, or United, stands for upper, which means that that airway goes in the upper flight levels. In some countries that goes from 19,500 feet, in others from 24,500 feet, so it depends. Letter S, or Sierra, stands for supersonic, which means that that particular airway is to be used exclusively by supersonic aircraft during acceleration, deceleration, and while in supersonic flight. And last, letter K sorry, K or Kilo indicates a low level route established for use primarily by helicopters. Makes sense, right? Moving on to the designator, you first have to understand that when I say regional networks, I'm referring to a series of airway networks that connect a whole aeronautical region. For example, uh, Airway United Lima 417 crosses all of South America and a part of the Caribbean while Airway Whiskey 36, for example, stays inside of the country of Colombia. On the other hand, the expression Area Navigation Route refers to RNAV, which is a type of navigation primarily based on GPS that does not use VORs or NDVs or any type of conventional nav aid. Now, with that in mind, letters Alpha, Bravo, Golf and Romeo are used for routes that form part of these regional networks of, air of airways but are not area navigation routes. Letters Lima, Mike, November and Papa are used for area navigation routes that do form part of those regional networks of airways. Letters Hotel, Juliet, Victor and Whiskey are used for routes that do not form part of the regional networks of airways and are not area navigation routes. And letters Quebec, Tango, Yankee and Zulu are used for area navigation routes that do not form part of the regional networks of airways. Moving on, airways can also have a suffix which is used to indicate a type of service provided and the term performance. Uh, required on that airway in question. However, due to limitations in the display equipment aboard aircraft, those suffix letters may not be shown sometimes, so I'm not going to go into them. However, again, you can check what those suffixes mean in the ICAO document that is here in the description below. Well, the aviation enthusiasts, that is all for today. Wait for another video on how to input airways into aircraft's flight management computers. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.